Hey everyone, this is Zornant, and welcome to the latest part of my Let's Play Super Mario 64 series. Today is a special birthday edition. It's my birthday, so I thought I'm not doing much, oddly enough. So I'll, uh, I'll do a video for you all. Now here we are, on the top floor of the castle. As we enter the finale of this game. I'm sure one of these toads around here gives you a star. Oh, I was right. I didn't think it was that one, but... I'll take what comes to me. Now... I'm not sure what world 10 is. Uh, let's just go for this one. This is world 11. Okay. Now... I don't mind this level. Uh, wet dry world. It's, it's interesting, put it that way. I mean, whenever you jump into a painting, depending on what height you jump in, the water level changes, which I think is quite an interesting concept. So if you jump right on the top of a painting, the water level is extremely high, and if you jump right at the bottom, it's extremely low, and of course it varies, depending on the middle and stuff. So, yeah. There's two areas to this level. There's this area, and then there's, well, another area, obviously, <clears throat> over in the uh, corner. So, it's quite a big level, compared to some. And yeah, I think it's okay. Oh, didn't work out. Let's move a bit closer. Let's start again. Shocking arrow lifts. So for this star, I probably could have done with um, going in at a higher altitude. Oh, bugger. But um, it's not a big issue. Those are some of the strangest enemies in the game. And also I'm terrible at walking in a straight line, so I apologise in advance. Body camera angles don't help, so that's an excuse. Yeah, as I said, those guys appear in this level, and I think they appear in. I don't know what the name of the level is. Um, it's, for, it's for mountain level, but. Ugh, I've got to. It's also on the top floor. Well, they do a similar thing. Catch you, spin about 180 degrees, and then launch you. Obviously, the uh, objective to be to throw you down there, but it doesn't always work, fortunately. That is bad luck. I think there's actually a star in here. I was right, so I might as well get this one. this course because it's not the one I wanted to go on. Let's see. Might as well check in here. This is another interesting level. There's the big world, the big painting, there's the little one. This is tiny huge island. It's course 13 so again not what I wanted to do. But yes, when you jump into the tiny painting, painting, you are huge compared to everyone. And when you jump into the huge painting, you're tiny compared to everyone. And there are pipes which transport you between the two worlds. So, an extremely interesting level. And you get your last race with a uh, Koopa the Quick here as well. But again, I'll just be getting this star and then leaving it because it's not the course I meant to go on. So we will return here later. There is our star. Next. Carry on around here. The 
this is for mountain level I was talking about. That is natural painting. There we go. Tall to a mountain. Course 12. Again, this is not what I meant to go on. But why well, I might as well do that. This level is okay. I mean, I'd like it more if the controls were a little bit better or the camera angles were a little bit better. But as it is, I usually find myself falling off here a fair bit. So be aware. See there's that enemy again I was talking about. Whoop, there we go. So it doesn't help when you're trying to run in a straight line and the camera angle changes as you're running. It means you've got to adjust your running as well. And it means you fall off. Like that. It is annoying. Maybe you can understand. I hope you can. I'm going to em emphasise with me. Let's see. Oh! Okay, that was my fault. I apologise. That was entirely my fault. before the video ends. We've got a scale the entire mountain. Hence the name of a star. I think it's called Scale the Mountain, indeed. So you're literally just scaling the mountain. What more can I say? In fact, I think I'll go up here. Shake off the wall. There we go, a little shortcut. That takes out that entire bit of the level. weird cloud thing there. I think it blows you back if you stand there for a little while. Not what I want to find out. Ooh, another thin edge, of course. Let's just do this slowly. Oh no! I was doing this slowly! Here's the annoying monkey. Stealer. Oh, see what I mean about camera angles? How glitchy was that? Mad bowling balls here. Cannonballs, not bowling balls, cannonballs. seconds left. I think I've actually got to really get a wiggle on here. I don't think I'll actually be able to get this star now, but... Hey-ho. Correction, I might just about get it. Okay. So that's our 10 minutes up. Hopefully in the next video you'll see me on course 10. But, ciao for now.